Do you want to use your PS5 DualSense controller with your iPad to get better gaming experience? Some users have complained that their PS5 controller is not connecting to iPad. So in this video, we will show you some easy and effective ways to fix PS5 DualSense controller won't connect to iPad Pro or Air. Before we start, first you have to make sure your PS5 controller has proper charge. If it doesn't, it won't connect to your device. After it is ensured, you have to make sure your iPad's Bluetooth is turned on and the controller is in the pairing mode. To put your PS5 controller in the pairing mode, press the share button and the PlayStation button together. The light will start blinking and it will be ready to pair. Now open settings on iPad, tap Bluetooth, check the available devices. You should see the controller, tap on it and the controller will be connected to iPad. If the controller does not show up in the Bluetooth menu or could not be connected, check out the next ways to fix the issue. If your iPad's Bluetooth was turned on for a long time without being connected to any devices, it might cause the problem. So you can restart the Bluetooth to fix the issue. Open settings, select Bluetooth, turn it off, quickly press and release the volume up button then volume down button. Now press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. After it's turned on, open control center, tap on the Bluetooth to turn it on. It should fix the issue. You have to make sure your iPad is running on the latest iPad OS possible. If there is a new update and your iPad is not up to date, it can cause problem with the Bluetooth connection. So make sure it is up to date. Now if the controller is already paired with your iPad but not working or showing connected, you need to forget the controller then connect it back again. Launch settings app, tap Bluetooth, tap on the eye icon beside the controller's name, tap forget this device, tap forget device and it will be unpaired from the iPad. Now restart the iPad for safety purpose, then connect the controller again. If the controller does not show up in the Bluetooth menu or connected to iPad, you can reset your PS5 controller to fix the issue. Look at the tiny hole on the rear of the controller. Use a SIM card ejector or a pin to push the reset button in the tiny hole for few seconds and it should reset the controller to factory default settings and it will fix all your problems. Now pair it with your iPad. These are the ways you can fix PS5 controller not connecting to iPad Pro or Air. If they does not fix the issue, if possible try to connect the controller with another device. If it does not connect, it can be a faulty controller. But if it does, your iPad could have major issues. In that case, you would need to take them to service center. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any query on the topic, let us know in the comment box. Thank you.